Let's read it. Let's see. That's why I read this. This is why I read this. Pierre, once again, we meet Mr. Pierre Gustave Toutant, Beauregard, who is nothing but a Haitian, a white washed Haitian. Now, Pierre Gustave sounds like a Russian name, little black French man, little Creole, hero of Fort Sumter, born in St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. Now, let's jump right on in. PGT Beauregard. He his name was actually Pierre Gustave Toutant Beauregard, born in 1818, so about 35 years, if my math is correct, after the end of the American Revolution, and he passed in 1893. He was born and raised on a sugar plantation in Louisiana to a French Creole family. After his military career, he returned to Louisiana where he advocated black civil rights, including suffrage, served as railroad executive and became a wealthy as promoter of the Louisiana lottery. The lottery come from this man. So, uh, Beauregard did not get along very well with the Confederate president, Jefferson Davis, which sounds a bit similar to another historical figure that we've done. And so uh, Beauregard did not, ra uh, did not move high in the Confederate military. He and his commander, once they saw that uh, the Confederacy was losing, they finally convinced President Jefferson to surrender to the Union. After the Civil War, Beauregard, uh, after some years, he began to advocate for civil rights for freed slaves and for women. And Beauregard, during the Mexican-American War, he was rebuilding a lot of those cities that they had destroyed during the war. But because he didn't find it very um, exciting, he wanted to go back to battle. And then also the um, just the high intelligence level that also kind of put people off. Uh, my understanding is that as a kid, he went to a French language school. So he did have that very wealthy up upbringing, which is different than Hamilton, but there are other similarities between the two. He fought. He is the Confederate general officer who started the American Civil War. When we go down here, he's fighting for the black civil rights. He went into the military and considering that he 